Hey guys and welcome back to my channel! So for today's video, I'm going to be continuing on the series of my beauty room collection slash tour videos. Today we're going to be going into my lipstick collection, which I mean, okay, I'll be honest, it's something that um, I have a little problem with. I'm, I'm a little bit of a lipstick hoarder, okay? Like, I feel like I honestly do a pretty good job at like sorting through makeup that I buy, that I don't end up liking, and then anything that's sent to me that I just know I won't use. I feel like I do a pretty good job at sorting through, donating things, giving it away to family and friends. But when it comes to lipsticks, I have a problem. Like, I can't give up colors because they're all different, you know? I have like probably a hundred different colors of nudes and they're all different. So uh, anyway, I'm really excited to show you guys my lipstick collection. It's actually not like something that I thoroughly, thoroughly have gone through because I kind of um, just needed to get it organized to be able to show you guys my collection for these videos. I didn't have time to like, you know, go too in depth. So we're just gonna go ahead and um, go into it. This is the latest addition to the um, storage family. I decided that I wanted an entire thing dedicated to lipsticks and like lashes and tools. This is where all those go to and I'll show you guys that as well. So this is from Ikea. It's in the Alex family. I don't know what it's called. Do you remember what it's called, babe? No. Okay, well, we'll have it linked down below. Yesterday I went through and finally finished it up and there were some things that like I just felt like looked pretty on display. So some of these Huda Beauty lipsticks I have here and then I have like some Dose of Colors holiday sets that I have here. And earlier this week I got some liquid lipsticks from the brand Lawless. They sent these to me and the packaging is so beautiful that I just thought I would have them on display in a little basket, so. I did a painting of this in high school and actually it was on a ceiling tile in the high school, so it's there, I think, still. And I loved that painting so much, I wanted one for my own room, so I did this with oil pastels. This was before I started my makeup channel, but you guys obviously can tell how much I love lipsticks. This is not an original, by the way. It's a duplicate of, I don't know, someone else's artwork. I'll have to try But it's like your original painting. No, yeah, no, I did that, but it's inspired off of a different artist. Let's go into drawer one. Haha, uh -huh. okay, this drawer is like a little bit more of a miscellaneous drawer. Um, I have my lip balms right here. These aren't like organized by high end or anything like that. They're just my lip balms, simple as that. These right here are anything from the drugstore that kind of, that I don't have too many of, I guess I should say. So I have um, some of my NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. This one in the shade London is my favorite. Like this color is so, good out of my entire lipstick collection. I love this. I will always repurchase this. It's incredible. I also have a few um, L'Oreal lipsticks. I was going through my lipsticks yesterday to prepare for this video actually. Came across this one in the number 102 and um, I really am excited to use this this summer and in a tutorial perhaps. It's really beautiful. I also have two wet and... are these wet and wild? Yes, right? Right? Yeah. Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lipsticks. These formulas are actually pretty good. And then my Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I love these as well. So just some kind of more random ones. This is from Essence. I recently picked this up from one of you guys actually recommending their lipsticks to me and I really love this shade. So just kind of little random drugstore bits. So in this compartment here I put some of my tinted lip balms. I still have the cases of these, these are actually some of my very first Burt's Bees makeup purchases years ago and so I don't really use them anymore because they're so old but I still keep them because, you know, I like things like that. Then there's some from Bare Minerals, their tinted lip balms. I don't know if they still make these or not. Um, these are their Pop of Passion lip balms. I love those. Used to wear them all the time. Um, back here I just kept like little mini things. So these are some mini Buxom lip glosses, some mini um, Buxom liquid lipsticks, and there's one from Bare Minerals. There's a bunch of little Tarte lip paint minis in here. Just some mini ones. These Again, this is kind of like a miscellaneous drawer. Um, over here I have more like lip balm products, so all of my Burt's Bees lip crayons, I used to like live for these as well and I bought every single shade they had. These are my Glossier Generation G lipsticks, these are really great for like that popsicle stained lip, like you don't get too much color payoff if you don't want to, but then you can build it up to 
more and more pigment if you want to. These are really, really pretty. I have three shades. Um, Cake, Leo, and Like. I really like all three of those. And here I have some Flower Beauty Mix and Matte Lip Duos. These were sent to me by Flower Beauty, and I actually still haven't really played with them too, too much. I think I've used a couple of the shades, uh, but I really want to kind of revisit them and put more of an opinion on them. This one over here is more of like lip balm type things. These are the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Sticks. I really like the formula of that. I don't remember when I bought this or why I bought this, but this is from Alme. It's the Liquid Lip Balm. I think that this might have been like one of the Drugstore Best of Beauty Award winners. I don't know. Anyway, I can't remember where I got this or why I got this, but I don't remember what I think about it, so I need to try that again. The Maybelline Baby Lips in the shade Toasted Taupe is one of my favorites, but this was on sale, like majorly on sale at Walmart, and I'm hoping that that didn't mean that like they're trying to clear it out because they're discontinuing it. I don't know. Sometimes that happens, so I don't know. I don't know if that's available anymore. But over here is probably one of my favorite drugstore lip products of all time, the L'Oreal Colory Shine Lipsticks, yes. The shade 900 is my all-time favorite. This is the shade Glossy Fawn. Oh my goodness, it is absolutely stunning. Oh, I love this one. These were all sent to me by L'Oreal, so I do have every shade, but I usually use um, this shade the most, Glossy Fawn, and then I have actually a whole lip swatch video, so if you're interested, I will link that down below to see all the shades and all that, but honestly, these are gorgeous for summertime especially. I'll be wearing them all year round, but for summer, they're lightweight and wonderful. So the next drawer, we have more drugstore. Okay, so this is all my ColourPop liquid lipsticks. I purchased every single one of these. I have <laughs> probably hundreds of dollars worth of ColourPop liquid lipsticks that I have collected over the years. Um, these are, actually some of them are kind of old. I should probably toss some of them. They're looking a little creepy, but I didn't get to that yet. So they're just sitting there right now. I will go through them and kind of like toss any expired ones, but you know how it is. ColourPop makes awesome, just really affordable, colorful, fun liquid lipsticks and um, ultra satin lips, which are really great too. So that's all that. Um, over here I have my Physicians Formula, the Healthy Lip Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. Honestly, these are some of my favorite formulas in any liquid lipstick, like drugstore and high-end combined. So Physicians Formula did send me the entire collection of this as well. And I love, love, love these. The um, more bold shades are actually really gorgeous. This one has to be one of my favorite. This one is Tulip Treatment. It's such a pretty like corally pink shade. I love it. The reds are beautiful in here and the nudes are really nice. The label fell off this one. I don't know, I think this might be all natural nude. I think that's what it's called, the label fell off again, but such a gorgeous liquid lipstick from the drugstore. I love those. Back here I have some of my CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I have two favorite colors so far in this. Hmm, I haven't tried that one actually. Where, where's the one I'm trying to think of? Yeah, these are my two favorites. I love Ballerina and Champagne Showers. Those are the ones I find myself reaching for the most, and the formula is really good on that. Um, over here we have the Flower Beauty Miracle Matte Lip, Lip? that's what it's called, but it's liquid lipstick. Um, these ones actually, I'm not as familiar with the formula. I know I've used them and they're really nice. I need to revisit them again because the color range is just beautiful. I know I used this one in a video. This was a really fun color, Melon Pop it's called. It's just like a really fun, like hot pink, vibrant, vibrant shade, so. That's a really fun one. Over here, <laughs> we have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I have the chocolate ones, which smell like chocolate, and then the ones they launched like last fall, I have the entire collection of as well. These are so awesome. They were some of my favorite liquid lipsticks. They are so long wearing. A little bit goes a very long way, and they're just amazing, and the color range is really fun and fabulous. I have more like, nude shades and things under here, but they also have some really fun shades like this purple. So I have that whole collection too. Back here are kind of more like odd ones that I don't have the entire collection of, but I still love to use. So we have like the Maybelline liquid lipsticks. I have a couple shades of those. Um, these ones are some amazing formulas as well. The L'Oreal Infallible Paints Mattes. They have really fun colors and the formula is awesome. I have some Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colors in here and some, ooh yeah, where is it? Some of the Milani ones are my favorite 
ever. I just love the shades. Where's the one I've been obsessed with? This Amour Matte Lip Cream from Milani is so beautiful. It's in the shade um, number 10, adorable. Oh my gosh, I love this. I got this in my uh, Walmart box, the Walmart Beauty Favorites box. That's how I discovered that one. Such a beautiful shade. So that's that. And then back here we just have some drugstore um, lip liners. So I have some from Flower Beauty, some from L'Oreal. Most of those were sent to me. I have purchased a few myself, um, this one being one of them. I wore this on my wedding day, actually. This is from Rimmel in the shade 1819, no, 019 Natural. It's just the perfect nude pink. Obviously, you can see how much I love this. I need to buy a new one soon because um, <laughs> I'm running out, but... Those are just some drugstore lip liners, and that is that drawer. By the way, these organizers I found at Walmart. I know a lot of people use them, and I could never find them at my Walmart. And we have two Walmarts, actually, around our house. One of them does not carry them, and one of them does. So if you have a Walmart close to you and you want great organizers, these were like, what, like 97 cents for three? So incredible for organizing lipsticks. They fit lipsticks perfectly. All right, so this drawer is uh, more of my high-end lipsticks. So I have my Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These were all sent to me. Well, no, I bought probably three of them with my own money. Um, but then I did a fun swatch video for Ulta. So they sent me several more shades and I think they're so fun. They're really good formula. Some of them smell kind of funny, but they have a really fun color range. So I have those and then Bare Minerals also sent all of these over. Wow. Um, they're the Gen Nude Matte Liquid Lipsticks and then I have some of their statement ones. So they have like the more nude ones that they launched first and then they actually launched more like statement colors like this. And so I have those in there as well. The formula is really good on that. Um, I feel like the formula has improved. So like the statement lip colors, for some reason, I like them more. This is like an overflow bin because the drawer wouldn't shut with um, the rest of the Bare Minerals in here and the glosses in here. So an overflow bin, you know, so that the drawer closes. <laughs> these are some lip glosses from Estee Lauder. I do need to go through these and um, kind of decide which ones I need to keep and which ones should be donated or given to friends. Um, but I haven't yet. So these are just some of the Estee Lauder lip glosses. I love the formula of these so much, but you know, realistically, I'm not gonna be able to go through every single one, so I do need to go through those. This is the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine lip glosses. They have several different finishes actually in here. Like some of them are glittery, some of them are more sheer, some of them are more opaque. Um, this is also a collection that I need to kind of go through and pick and choose which ones I wanna keep. But for this video, I just went ahead and put them in a bin because that's where the rest will be. This is the new M Cosmetics True Gloss Glosses. These are absolutely beautiful. These were just recently sent to me by M Cosmetics and I love them. They feel like a lip balm, but they shine like a gloss and they have such amazing pigment. So they have like a good range of nudes and pinks and then some bright pops of color as well. Really excited about this whole uh, collection just because the formula so far I'm obsessed with. And then I have back here the KKW cream liquid lipstick set. Just chilling. And I like to keep it in the box. I'm kind of a packaging freak. I love good packaging so I like to keep a lot of boxes. <laughs> and that's that one. So next we kind of have a mixture. I have, um, I think all of the Flower Beauty lipsticks. So these are drugstore. These are kind of a mix of high-end and drugstore in here. Well, no, this is the only drugstore one. Anyway, I have all the different Flower Beauty, I don't know, Petal Pout lipsticks, I think they're called. And I love, oh my gosh, I love when lipsticks put the colors on the bottom because if you're someone like me and you have a lot of lipsticks, it's so helpful to store them upside down and kind of see the colors. Some of my favorites, you can kind of tell which ones are the most used. I love 020 Naked Blush. This is a gorgeous matte, um, like pinky nude shade, which are my favorites. Another one that I love is um, Spiced Petal. Yeah, this is a really gorgeous one. A little bit more of a brownish mauve nude, but very beautiful. I also love this one, Autumn Rose. So pretty, that's more of a purpley nude. I love lipsticks with more of a purple undertone. I don't know why, I just think they're gorgeous. Um, right here we have the Bare Minerals lipsticks. The first ones over here don't have the colors on the bottom and then they put the stickers with the colors for the statement lipsticks, which I really appreciate. So some of them over here, are just like the more nude ones, they don't have the actual like color on the bottom. This is one of my favorites. This is Honey Bun. These are just their shine lipsticks, I think. And then um, this one's fun. 
This is in the shade Flash. Look how pretty that is. Love a good hot red shade. We have the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Lip Glosses. I really like the formula of these. They're really moisturizing, comfortable, and they come in a ton of great nude colors, which is fabulous. Um, these ones right here are a mixture of a couple formulas. I think some of them are like the vinyl Estee Lauder ones, and then some are like liquid lipsticks, but they all have the same packaging, so I decided to keep them in here. Um, this is another example of a collection that I need to go through, and you guys will see <laughs> the rest of this collection in the next drawer, and I definitely need to sort through them, just didn't have time yet, so those are just sitting in there. Um, over here, I recently was sent some gorgeous colors from By Terry. I love the packaging on this because look, you can also store those upside down and you can see the colors. These are really beautiful. I think it's this one that I've been wearing a ton. Yeah, this one's really pretty. The By Terry Rouge Expert Click Stick. You like click the bottom and then it will bring it up. I don't wanna push it up too much, otherwise I will smash the top. But that's in the shade Bear Me. Really pretty. I actually haven't even tried these ones yet. And then I haven't tried too many of these. I, I know I've swatched some of these. These are really cool. They have kind of like two colors on them. So like a lip liner color and then the other color. So it kind of makes your lips look more full. And they have an entire collection um, of different colors like that you can kind of play with. I don't know, I think those are really fun. Kind of a similar concept to the Benefit ones that came out a while ago. If you guys are familiar with those. Okay, back here I put just like normal bullet lipsticks and then kind of other odd ones that um, don't have enough, that I don't have enough in the collection to have their own bin. So I have one from the Patrick Star Matte Collection. This one is Mama Star, I really like that one. Um, some Bobbi Brown ones. I have the Bite Beauty Amour, or what is this? What am I saying? A Muse Bouche Liquid Lip, which is more of a glossy finish, so I have it in there. Um, that's in the shade Chutney. I really like that one. I have some from Hourglass down here that are really beautiful. So just kind of like more odd ones. This is actually a buxom lipstick in the shade White Russian, which is one of their most popular gloss shades that they turned into a lipstick. So I thought that was really pretty. Uh, back here are some like odd lip glosses that again don't have enough to be in their own container so i have some from bobby brown i have one from jouet i have some from the bomb cosmetics um smith and colt makes this one right here and yeah i think that's pretty much it over here are just some like liquid lipsticks so i have my tarte ones this is one of my all-time favorite shades ever the tardis lip paint in the shade bestie love that color so so much it's beautiful under here i have a few from anastasia underneath there are some from lime crime i have a few um kylie cosmetics ones and yeah that is this drawer pretty fun my favorite has to be this section though it's just so satisfying to me to see all the colors and this is the one that uh you guys will see i need to definitely go through estee lauder sent out the most crazy insane pr package like a year and a half ago and they basically sent every lipstick that they've ever created and I don't know how I received it but I did and so that's where every single one of these lipsticks came from um, so thank you Estee Lauder <laughs> some of them don't have the colors on them which I wish they all did the ones that do I put all together so that I could kind of see um, which one to use I was looking at this one yesterday 271 Prowl I haven't even used this yet. It's so beautiful though, that like hot pink shade. Oh my gosh, like so beautiful for summer. So there's different formulas in here. They have like matte ones, um, some that have a shimmer in it, some that are like cream. And uh, these are just ones that I really need to <laughs> go through. Oh man, what are these called? They're like the sheer matte formula, I think. And they're beautiful. I absolutely love it. This one, um, it's kind of dirty because I think I applied it over foundation once on my lips. But as you can see, they're kind of more of like a sheer matte formula. And when you apply it, it's just beautiful. This one is in the shade Baby Bloom. So I love those. Over here, I have some of these Smashbox liquid lipsticks. These were also sent to me for a like Instagram post that I did for Smashbox a while back. Love the formula of these though. Oh my goodness. Um, this one actually was purchased by myself last week or so. No, two weeks ago. Mm, it's probably been a month now. This has to be one of my favorite lipstick colors ever. These liquid lipstick formulas are amazing. It's the Always On Liquid Lips from Smashbox. This one is in the shade Baja Bound. I think I've worn it in a video, but it's just like the perfect pinky coral 
Oh my gosh, like I am in love with that shade. And so that's been one of my favorites this summer. Absolutely love it. There's a lot of good nudes in here. There's a lot of fun like <laughs> like teal and like green colors that I probably wouldn't wear on an everyday basis. So I do need to go through these and kind of be realistic with myself and donate the ones that I won't use. But it's really fun for me to see all the colors and it's inspiring sometimes. So that's that. And then I have a few of these. So these are the Smashbox be legendary liquid lipsticks liquid lip metals um and i i did go through these and kind of donated the ones that i know i won't use so i kept like the reds and the pinks which are you know the colors that i wear the most over here we have some of my higher end lip liners so we have a lot from the bomb i actually really love the bomb pickup liners i think i have every shade actually and I really love those. I have one from a Kylie Cosmetics lip kit, Dolce K. This is actually a really great lip liner that I use all the time. They're mostly from the bomb. Um, and then I have a lot of my Bare Minerals ones over on my desk. And that's those are the ones that I really love. My high-end lip liners that I really love are the Bare Minerals Under Over Lip Liners. I love those, so. And last but not least, this is my tool slash lash slash uh, sponge drawer, I guess you could say. This is really actually one of my favorite drawers I think that I have recently put together just because it's so much easier for me to find my lashes. You should have seen what I used to have before I organized everything. Um, it was kind of a mess. So this is actually so nice. And these over here are all from Velour Lashes. Um, they recently sent some mink lashes which are really, really nice. Actually, I don't wear false lashes too, too often, but the ones that I find myself wearing quite a bit are these ones from Velour. I think Would I Lie would be my favorite shade, but they can't, shade, haha, <laughs> favorite style. Uh, they came out with like an effortless lash collection where you don't need to trim the lashes, you don't need to really do anything or think too hard about it, and I really love those. They're not too much either, like they just kind of add a little accent to your lash, and I tend to really like that over full-blown lashes. Sometimes I do wear them, but I just feel like with my eye shape, it kind of like is too heavy sometimes. So anyway, those are all from Velour. Over here, I have my sponges, Beauty Blenders, um, an Aesthetica sponge, Morphe sponge, Flower Beauty sponge. This one obviously needs to be washed, <laughs> but I keep my sponges in here. And then I have some backups right here that I haven't tried yet or backup Beauty Blenders just in case. Then I have some lashes from House of Lashes. I actually do enjoy these as well. Oh, what, what happened there? Um, I do enjoy these as well because these are from the Light Collection, so they're a little more lightweight. I'm trying to find the one that I wear a lot. Um, these ones are some of my favorites. These are Iconic Light. These are probably as like heavy of a lash as I'll go, and these are like their lighter version of this, the Iconic Lights. Well, these are the lighter version of the Iconic Lashes from House of Lashes. So. Those are those. My favorites, though, would have to be from the drugstore, I would say. I love individual lashes because I can really customize my lash shape, I guess, and how many I want. So I have a few different styles here. And then I have, I think these are from Kiss Lashes. These are the little black dress lashes, which are really beautiful. I have more individual lashes back here. Uh, what are these? Oh, these are from Huda Beauty. I actually haven't tried these yet because they're a little bit more intense than what I personally like. So I might, I might actually end up giving those to family or friends. But back here I have my tools, like my lash adhesive. Velour was kind enough to send me a couple. I think this one's the clear one and this one is the black glue. I have a applicator and then I have some like lash glues from the drugstore, I think. Yeah, I think this is from Kiss Lashes. I also have like my duo lash glue sitting over on my desk because that's the one that I tend to use on a more regular basis. I have some Revlon tweezers, so <laughs> just in case. So that's all that's in this drawer. So now it's time for us to um, take a look at my <laughs> lipstick tower. I will link this down below. I got this on Amazon. It was actually on sale. It's very dusty. Oh my gosh. This is one of my favorite things in my beauty room just because it makes such a statement and everybody who comes in here always comments on it. I have so many shades of the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. Oh my goodness. These are some of my favorite formulas ever. If you haven't tried them, you need to try the shade Truffle. This is gorgeous. Truffle and Bear With Me, I feel like are my favorite like nude shades if you're wanting to just try out the brand. Los Angeles would have to be one of my favorite more like reddish 
shades if you want something more bold. Ooh, and I love this one right here called Campfire. It's a little bit of a more orangey red once you apply it and is absolutely gorgeous. So those are my Dose of Colors ones. I also have a ton from Estee Lauder. These are their Pure Color Love Lipsticks, which I believe are sold exclusively at Ulta. And these are incredible. I love the shade, where is it? Raw Sugar, number 110 would have to be my favorite shade out of the bunch. Just a great nude one. I don't know. I keep telling you guys about nude lipsticks, but honestly, those are what I wear the most. I also love, is it this one? I think it's this one, Hot Streak. It's like a really beautiful orange red. I love nudes and I love orange reds, okay? And I love purples, so those are probably the ones I'm gonna be recommending to you guys the most. I have a ton of the, um, the Balm Liquid Lipsticks, which are another one of my favorite formulas, actually. This one right here in the shade Committed is one of my favorites. Again, it's a nude. Really love it. It's awesome. I love this one, too. This one is in the shade Charming, and this is so beautiful, especially for fall. It's that, like, purple mauve -y tone. I love it in fall. So these are great liquid lipsticks. If you haven't tried these, they smell like Girl Scout cookies, and they are really great. The formula is awesome. Oh, up here I have some from Ilia Beauty. Um which is a clean beauty brand. These ones are just like their exfoliating lip balm and then I have their actual hydrating lip balm, which is kind of fun. I like how there's an exfoliating one and a normal one. And then there's some just like fun lip colors in here as well, like this purple, which I kind of messed up in the cap on accident. Um, but anyway, those are some really beautiful ones. Uh, here's the rest of the Pure Color Love collection as well as the rest of my Dose of Colors lipsticks, which I keep over here. Up top, I have the um, Their Real Benefit lipsticks, which is what I was just talking about when I showed you the By Terry lipsticks, how there's like the two tones in here. This obviously has the teardrop shape, which makes it different, but these are really fun. My favorite shades in here are this one right here. This is called Lusty Rose. I really love this color. And then there's a nude one I need to find. Ah, here it is, Nude Scandal. This is also a really beautiful one, this one. The shape is kind of weird because I've used it so much, but this is also a really beautiful one, so those are those. Since I do keep quite a few lipsticks over here, I'm just gonna show you really quickly what I have. I keep it like pretty much all of my lip liners over here. So these are the Bare Minerals Over Under lip liners that I was telling you about that I like to keep on my desk. I have some from Charlotte Tilbury. I have some from Thrive Cosmetics. Um, I have some from Nabla Cosmetics. This one is from Flower Beauty. <laughs> so just like ones that I find myself using a lot, I put over here. Um, I recently was sent these from Laura Mercier. These are the Extreme Matte lipsticks I think and there's some really beautiful colors and I just really like to kind of see them all together right here um right here <laughs> these are fun these are uh I can't I splurged on these okay I bought one of these where is it this is an Armani liquid lipstick in the shade 202 I don't know if there's an actual name for it but this is absolutely gorgeous it's such a nice nude color and it's kind of got like a moussey texture. It is so luxe and so for Christmas I bought myself a gift and <laughs> there was free engraving so I got my name engraved and spent a little bit too much on um, liquid lipsticks but like I said lipsticks are my jam. I love them. This is one of my other favorite colors. This one's in the shade um, 501. Really pretty like rosy color. So I keep those there on display because they were too expensive to put in a drawer. Okay, anyway, back here I have some of my Urban Decay lipsticks. Um, one of my favorites being Back Talk right here. Such a pretty like purpley color. It's actually probably kind of similar to that other one. Well, no, it's a little different. So it's a really pretty like purpley mauve. I love that. I honestly, thank you Urban Decay for also putting stickers on the bottom. I don't know why that helps me so much when trying to look for a lip color. Oh, I guess I keep some of my like Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks here. One of my all time favorites is this one right here called Pillow Talk. It's a classic. I absolutely love this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's such a beautiful shade and so universal. So if you're in need of a fabulous nude lipstick and you are wanting to splurge, this one, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's so good. Mm. I have some of my sugar lip balms from Fresh. These are awesome. I love this one in the shade Dream. It's just really great for every day. There's like a fluff on it. So that's a great one. I have my KKW Beauty glosses. These are the 
Mario collaboration glosses, really, really pretty and fun. So I keep those there too, cause they're just fun to have on display. And I actually do really like the formula. And yeah, I think that's it for over here. So this actually changed up a little bit as of last night, as I was putting together my lipstick thing. So in the tour, if you watched that, you would have seen some of the Estee Lauder lipsticks were here. I switched them out with the Dose of Colors lip glosses. And what are these called? I don't know if they have like a certain name, like they're just their lip glosses. And um, these are really beautiful and there are 12 shades which fit perfectly in this acrylic set. So I put those here. Let's see, some of my favorite shades, if you're wondering, I actually do really like this one in the shade Can You Not? But my favorite, where is it? Aha, my favorite is this one called Messy Bun. It's so beautiful. And for some reason, I always love to wear this shade when I have a messy bun. I don't know, it just looks nice with a messy bun. <laughs> so, uh, back here we have some of my Buxom lip glosses, which I love those plumping lip glosses. They're so, so good. I love this one. I love this shade Bellini. It's like a really nice peach gloss. It's a really beautiful nude peach shade. So if you haven't tried the Buxom glosses, these are awesome. They tingle your lips and they're fun. So that's that. So that is it. That is my lipstick collection. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of the lipsticks. I will try to link any of the lipsticks that I like spent some time on or really mentioned to you guys. I'll try to link those down below if you're interested in checking any of them out because there's some lipsticks that I mentioned that I'm genuinely just absolutely in love with and I think everybody would love the shades or you should definitely check them out if you're interested. So I'll link those down below. Um, if you haven't yet seen my beauty room tour, my drugstore makeup collection, or my high-end makeup collection video, I will have those linked down below as well. This is part of a series. Um, next up, you will be seeing my nail polish collection, which I never thought I would actually have a nail polish collection, but you guys know there's one brand that I absolutely adore and I have pretty much every no, I have every nail polish that they've ever made. Since you guys saw my entire lipstick collection and you see everything that I own, if there's something in there that I do not have that you guys love, if there's a lip color, a formula, a brand, or something that you guys love and adore and think I need to try, please leave your favorite lipstick down below because I probably will buy it because I'm obsessed with lipsticks. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video again and I will see you guys in my next collection video. So everything will be linked down below if you guys wanna watch the previous videos, like I said before. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Love you, bye.